Unit 3721 investigating possible domestic disturbance at 552 five, 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 Pinedale. Requesting backup immediately. Back me up on this one, Jaworski. I hate these domestics. Here. Let's go, bullies, open up! No! You're making me crazy! He's coming around. All right. All right, step out of the house, please. Put your hands where I can see them. Right, what's the problem? What's no the problem at all, sir. Step out of the house. Yeah. Why don't you come Thank down you. here, sir? Just having a little discussion. Come on you down. Know. Happens all the time. Uh huh. Against the wall. All right. Take it easy, will you? Hey, whoa, whoa, right there. Okay, I was just right misunderstanding. I said, don't move. Isn't that right, Cody? Okay. Did anybody hit you, son? Hey, what are you talking huh? about? What kind of people do you think Claire, we are? Please. Don't please me. If you hadn't started this, not a bit. Shut up, bully. Shut up. Easy. Now, ma'am, sir, we're going to check the house, all right? Make sure everything's okay. I already Have told you, there's no problems. Standard, standard procedure, ma'am, with your permission, please. Hey, let's go, guys. One of you with me, one of you down here. Ma'am, lead the way, please. Thank you. What's your order, son? What's your word? Right in there. Check it out. I did it. I was on a blind date. No way. Uh-huh. You have got to be kidding. Talk about fantasies, huh? Mm. It was incredible. I mean, a double bank shot is amazing enough. But a triple? I was ready to go pro right then and there. Well, you're not going to make this shot. I want another one. I want another one. You'll have to wait. We got shift in 10 minutes. Isn't that Detective Breyer over there? The Detective Breyer? Over there? Okay. I've got the worst crush on him, Detective Breyer? I never said I had a crush on him. I just said he was cute. <laughs> so those little distinctions, you know? So, uh, go to it, Mom. Here you go. We'll be in the car. Ah. So, no blood, no foul, okay? You guys want to tell us what's going on? You first. Well, officer, you noticed the stop sign? Well, the admiral didn't. Like I told this fat pig, if the broad hadn't flashed me, I don't know, I would have just gone. I beg your pardon. Right there on the corner. She opens up her yellow ring. He's always drunk. Look at the drunk. Come on, Sailor. Okay, okay, that's enough. Tell me more about this flasher. She was on the corner, blonde. But uh, not natural to catch my drift. 42, double D, maybe bigger. 
with his Tweety Bird tattoo on her left. No, maybe it was her right. Sir, follow me, please. On, let's go, let's, let's go, go talk about Tweety Bird. All units, we have a gunshot victim down at Elm and Nice thread, Springer. Funeral? No, I had a hot date, actually. I'm sure she'll understand. What's going on? Uh, we just got here ourselves, but it seems a jogger found the body and called it in. White male, early 30s. Caught one with his head. Up close to personal life. Let me guess. He scrawled the killer's name in blood in the silent, but all the rain washed their way, right? I guess that's why you get the big bucks, huh, Springer? You got it. We're going to take command of the scene. Over. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Dead as Dillinger. What's the matter with you, Will? Nothing. Is this like your first cliff or what? No. I think you're trying to tap up on the old vitamins. You look a little pale. Should have pressed charges. And, uh, oh, yeah, listen. As we ran an FI know, on her and the kid, Dan. Sure no previous know. record of either of them being okay, a crime guys. victim. Yeah. Right here it says, uh, we got another robbery at a department store on, uh, Sauber. Look on that kid's face. Bet your bottom dollar that guy's beating anyone walking through walls or vanishing into thin air, I'd appreciate knowing about it, okay? All right. Saddle up and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> So she invites me in and she puts in some music. That's good. Only it's very memorable. That's bad. So I tell her I've got a headache. That's good. <laughs> but my car won't start. That's bad. So what, should I see her again or what? What do you think? Look at you, I gotta do something, okay? What, what do you mean? Uh, it'll just take a second, I'll meet you out there, okay? <laughs> yeah, thanks for the advice, Waylon. Hey, we're out of your car. Right, right. He's got a okay, bad. okay, oh, Margaret. So I'm a couple months late in child support, fine. but I... No, I don't care what your lawyer says, because this isn't a settlement, it's extortion, and I... Can I help you? No, I... Well, um... I'm... I'm Molly Whalen, I'm, I'm one of the probationary officers. Yeah, I know who you are. Jake Pryor. Listen, I'm... I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I am too. Eight years of marriage down the drain, shuffling our kid back and forth between here and Cleveland. No, I meant about your friend. Pardon? The guy you were with at the pool hall yesterday. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. The, the homicide victim. I happened to be at the pool hall and I saw you. Honest mistake. Excuse me? I wasn't at any pool hall yesterday, Whalen. But I saw you there. Oh, it must have been somebody else. No, I don't think so. No. Like I said, Whalen. Honest mistake. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. I checked the social services. Turns out the Stevens kid's never been awarded the stake. You know, he's ever robbing these department stores. He sure knows what he's doing. On the other hand, he's moved four times in the last year. The husband's been fired from his job as a security guard. Classic pattern. So they've had some tough times, Dan. I mean, that doesn't mean the guy's abusing his family, you know? What do you know about abuse? Pardon? Your dad is deputy mayor. You were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Your dad was a high school principal, so? Never mind, all right? Forget it. Uh, where are you going? We're supposed to question the manager of the store that was hit last night, remember? I want to check on the kid first, okay? Kid buried treasure? I didn't do nothing. I was no, just... No, 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 no. Take it easy. We just came to 
see you were all right, that's all. Hi. What was your name again? Cody. Cody. That's a cool name, yeah. huh? How are your mom and dad doing, Cody? They're not here right now. Are you usually alone here during the day, Cody? I have to do my homework. Hey, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just going to ask you one question, okay, Cody? Come here. Your dad, huh, your daddy? Did he hit you? No. Huh? No. Because if he hits you or your mom, it's important that you tell us. Look, nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. So you satisfied now? He's lying. Dad, got it. He's lying, and there's something going on here, Jesse. I'm gonna find out what it is. So how long has it been, buddy? What, four months since we made you death sergeant? Just about five. Mm. Remember how upset you were when we took you off the street? Ah, yeah, well, you know, Lieutenant, you gotta roll with the punches, but you know what? I'm starting to feel pretty fit. Good. I'm glad you feel that way, because we gotta make another change. Change? It's only temporary, buddy. But with Cynthia being gone from records and us being short on men as it is. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a company guy and I want to help out, but I ain't doing records. Come on, buddy. I'm, wait, I'm too good of a cop for that. I know that. That's the reason why I want you back out in the street working on this burglary thing full time. Seriously? Dead serious. Thanks a lot, Ray. All right. Okay, so let me make sure I got this straight. You're in the middle of the game. Top of the ninth, two out. And this lady suddenly walks out onto the field. Wearing nothing but a yellow raincoat. Then, wham! Just like that. Poor Joey Larson. My first string uh, shortstop. The kid passed right out. Just like that. Whammo. Yeah, just whammo, just like that. You said she's like five, 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 six. Do you remember anything else about her? Yeah, big. Big? Big, big. Can you, um, be a little more specific? Well, um, let's say you're a pair of infield singles. Well, this lady, she was twin Grand Slam homers. <laughs> I foul you. Oh, come on, man. You totally fouled me, but I'll give you the point because I know... Oh, you're you give it to me. Yeah. I, I spanked you, that's what it was. A blind judge would have called it, but I'll give it to you anyway. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. Waylon, what's up? You missed it. We spanked the detectives once again. Finally something to write home about. How could you expect her to get excited about something like that? She's a skirt. I won't take that. Don't take that. You know, it's funny. I just realized something about you. You know, you're not responsible for your behavior. Your, your genetic wiring, it's inverted or something. So you want to check out my wiring? All right, no problem. Got too much to for sure. Right, maybe later. <laughs> hey, all right. Look, uh, do you have a minute? I need to talk to you about something. Okay, go ahead, shoot. How you doing, Will? But, you know, if, if you guys are busy... Come again? No, that's okay. Come on, we're all on the same team here. What's on your mind? It's, it's really not that important. And I'll let you guys get back to your male bonding. See you. Well, I'll catch you later. <laughs> What's her problem? Boom! Had four hits, still no prints or witnesses so far. But all the department stores are part of the same chain, suggesting an inside job. Well, that would explain how they're getting past the alarm system. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to find out. Yeah. Tell me what you got. Got a roll. Let's go. There's Cody's school. Apparently he's missing classes lately. Dan, what's going on? Sometimes when the kid gets beaten, Jess, the, uh... I keep him at home till he heals up. No, I mean, what is it with you and this kid? What are you talking about? I don't know. It's almost like you have a personal stake in this thing or something. We're cops, Jaworski. We protect people. That's what we do. I just want to make sure the kid is safe, you know? It's too late. 
So, if I understand you correctly, mm -hmm. you rescue this woman from a tree. Yeah. And then she opens her yellow ring. That's right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Sex on the beach. No thanks, I'll just have coffee. It's the drink that Daryl sent over the night I met him. You don't drink. I did that night. <laughs> you know what's the trip? Relationships come and go, but memories last a lifetime. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, the update on Briar. Briar. You told me you chickened out at the pool hall and you were going to talk to him at the station, so did you? Not really. Can I ask you a question? Suppose someone you knew was involved in a crime. What are we talking here? Um, stolen hubcaps? No, uh, more serious. A, a lot more serious. Well, I mean, the bottom line, models were police officers. We took an oath. Yeah, but what if this person was one of our own? A cop. My grandmother has this saying, um, if you cut your cloth, measure five times. If you cut your brother's cloth, measure ten. Mom, if you're talking about a dirty cop, you better be damn sure you're right. You okay, Cody? You shut up, Cody. Ma'am. You shut up. Cody, I'm gonna talk to the kid, all right? Not a move out of you. Uh, Stay right there. I ain't moving. Stay where you are. Don't you move. Come here. You made that call, didn't you, Cody? Huh? What happened to your hand, Cody? Everything's huh? fine. I was just playing. I warned you, pal. You're under arrest. You have no right to me. No. Right no. To you. you see a mark? No. We lay Take it easy, will you? Hey, what are you doing? You have the right to keep your big mouth shut. Anything you say, no. anything you say can and will be used to nail your sorry ass in a court of law. Hey, let's go. What's a vodka martini? Excuse me? It's your favorite drink, right? See, I'm trying out for Jeopardy next month, and that's why I'm posing everything in the formal question. Uh-huh. Like, um, who's not heavy? The famous song by the Hollies. He ain't heavy. <laughs> Just wanted to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. You, uh, you ever seen this man before? Yeah, I've seen him around. What do you do? It's, uh, it's not what he did. It's what somebody did to him. He was murdered last night. Gee, that's too bad. Oh, yeah, I can see you're real, uh, shook up about it. Well, him and his kind, they deserve what they get as far as I'm concerned. His kind? Who's light in the loafers? Who parts his hair down the wrong Enough side? Enough with the Alex Trebek, please. But that was gay. Queer, homo, whatever's politically correct this week. Hey, what's up? Hey, dude. Hey. 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 Yeah, we can check on that, though. Book this guy for domestic assault, get him out of my face. Got this all wrong, man. Make a big mistake, pal. His wife won't press charges, Dad. Doesn't matter. We saw him do it. Looked more like the other way around. Yeah, how's that? Come on, Dan. The woman isn't exactly a shrinking violet. Did it ever occur to you that maybe, just maybe, she's abusing him? And the kid called us up to help him with his homework, I suppose? Denies calling us, Dan. Whose side are you on, Jaworski, huh? Just telling you the facts. 
Do you know how many wives and kids are killed because of worms like that? How many cops are killed trying to protect the people? You know, I thought you'd be a little bit more aware with you being a woman and all, Jaworski. What did you tell Springer? What the hell are you doing here? No. What did you tell Springer? I didn't tell him anything. No, but you were about to, right? Now, wait a minute. You come in here, you, you break into my house, and you're asking me questions? I've got 15 years on this force, lady. 15 years! You come from a cop family. You should know better than to stick your nose into things you're not involved with. I saw you with a homicide victim. That makes me involved. You know, sometimes things just aren't what they look like. And you're hiding something. I think you killed that guy, or you know who did. No, you don't know anything. What's there to know? You're gay, aren't you? And Nichols was your lover, and that's what this is about. I don't have to listen to this. No, I think you do. No, I think I don't. You keep your mouth shut. Do you understand? You breathe one word to Springer, and I will burn you down. Female flasher. You have to admit, there's something kind of Shakespearean about it. Don't start with the flasher. You know what that does to me. Besides, she's a nut in a raincoat. Yeah, but why does she do it to them? What do these guys she's flashing have in common? Who knows? They all wear brass buttons. Wait a minute, then that's it. What? A sailor, a baseball coach, a fireman. They were all wearing uniforms at the time. Hey. So, Waylon, what happened to you last night? I thought you were going to take me to play pool or something. Waylon, you listening? Well, if it isn't two-thirds of the month, squad. Serpico, what's up? What a game of hoops tonight. Give you detectives a chance to win back some of that honor you lost. Yeah, why not? You know, it's getting pretty tiring letting you guys win all the time. Yeah, right. You mind if I have a word with your partner for a second? In yeah. private? No problem. Thanks. All right. I'll check you later. Serpico. First time I ever met you. I was crazy about you. Ever tell you that? It'd never work out, Springer. I mean, we'd sleep together, then you wouldn't call me, I wouldn't call you. And... Yes. So, what's this I hear about you poking your nose around in farms without authorization? Excuse me? The Nichols case in particular. You got something you want to talk to me about? Maybe I want to be a detective. Oh, okay. Now, so, now I say something funny back and we do this little dance. You know what? It's getting old. We've done it before. What's going on? I can't talk about it. You want to try that again? I told you, I, I, I can't talk about it. You know, you're wrong. We probably sleep together, fall madly in love, and then run away and live happily ever after. It was just a little disagreement, that's all. I tried to explain that to the officer here, but he wouldn't listen. Excuse me, ma'am, but that's Dad. not... According to the police report, Mrs. Stevens, there's evidence that you and your son may have been abused. Oh, that's ridiculous. Isn't that right, Cody? Look, ma'am, I'm sure we'll get this all straightened out. I want my husband released immediately. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Well, my son saw the whole thing. This is a clear case of police harassment. Now, I want my husband released now, or I'm going to the press. Is that clear? My son. He just skipped the second grade. 
He's cute. Yeah. Says he wants to be a cop just like his old man. Yeah, I can relate. My, uh, my dad was a cop too. I didn't kill him. And I don't know who did. And the answer to your last question is yes. So? So you're gay, so what? So what? So what? So my ex-wife doesn't know. So she's already battling me for custody. So I stand to lose my son. Look, Briar, you're making your problems my problems here. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to do anything. You opened a can of worms. I just want you to close it. Yeah, well, withholding evidence in a homicide could cost me my badge. <sighs> Look, well, in 24 hours, that's all I'm asking. Just give me time to find this guy. This guy? What guy? Nichols lived beyond his means. He said a loan shark was leaning on him. Is that why you gave him the money at the yes. pool? I cared for him. Probably more than he cared for me, but there is no way I could have killed him. Have you, um... Have you told your kid, you know... <sighs> I guess you know you're gonna have to. Yes, I know that. But I want to do it on my terms, not somebody else's. All right. 24 hours. That's all I can give you. Then I have to go to Springer. Okay. Yeah. See ya. Okay, okay. You guys go in the back. Shapiro, cover the stand. Go in in here. Get ready. Yeah, excuse me. Could you stand? You stand over there, please. Please don't don't come any closer. Check this out. No way. You think somebody could fit in there? Somebody did. They will kill you, you know. Oh, I was just thinking. About me? Actually, I, I was thinking about Miss Foss, my second grade teacher. If I would have married her, like like I had promised, we'd be celebrating our 20th anniversary right now. Look, I, uh, I heard something on the street that I thought you might want to know. That's very considerate of you. Well, word is that uh, Nichols owed money to a loan shark. You don't say. Yeah, I thought with all your resources, you, you might want to check it out. And where did you get this little tidbit of information? I told you. On the street? Yeah. K-9. 
Can you be a little more specific? Sorry, that's, that's all I can tell you. Yeah, he was gay, you know. Nichols, I mean. Yeah, I have a suspicion that he was having a relationship with another cop. Just such might want to know. Whoever or whatever this person is goes in through the air ducts, cuts the electrical system, and it goes back out the way it came in. Maybe it's not a person at all. I saw this thing on Mystery Theater once. Hey, Shapiro. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now, we'll check the employee records from all the stores, see if there's an inside connection. Meanwhile, I want you to check the other stores that haven't been hit yet, all right? In case this guy wants to stay consistent with this thing. Now, listen, I don't want to attract any attention, so I think we ought to wear our civvies, all right? All right. Okay. Any questions, people? All right. Buddy, it's like old times, huh? You got it, girl. All right. Mrs. Stevens says you've been going by the house every day. Yeah, only because we're concerned for her safety, sir. Now, she insists that neither she nor her son have ever been abused by her husband. Well, look, with all due respect, Lieutenant, that is a complete lie. Look, Kelly, you know as well as I do that in order to press charges, you need more evidence. That's why I'm ordering her husband released. But, sir... Look, both you and your partner here need to consider yourselves very lucky. If this woman had pressed harassment charges, you'd both be talking to IA right now. Dismissed. Can you believe that? Can't believe it. Let it go, Dan. No, I'm not gonna do that. Why not? Because I'm not gonna sit around while some scumbag uses his wife and kids as a punching bag. That's why. You heard what Gonzalez said. We get in serious trouble Look, here. Nobody's asking you to get involved, Jaworski. Back off. Dan, did your father abuse you? Oh. Is that why you're doing this? Yeah, yeah, you know what? He abused me. He he smacked me around. How do you like that? Well, don't look at me like that, please. Not that big of a deal. Yeah. I remember I had this, uh, I had this baseball card of Roberto Clemente. And I used to keep it in a special box all by itself, you know. And one day he, he comes home. I'll never forget this. And, and he goes right for the closet, you know, and he, he takes the card and he, and he, he rips it up you know, into a million pieces right there in front of me. I never knew why. You never told me. It's not something you talk about with people, Jesse. It's a private thing. I'm not people. I'm your partner. Look, we've checked the streets, we've checked the case files. It's like this loan shark never existed. You think I made it up? I didn't say that. You think I killed Nichols and created an alibi to cover myself? Look, all I know is that it's been 24 hours. I will not go to Springer. Fire, he knows. to tell him he knew that Nichols was having a relationship with a cop. Oh, great. Great. I'll lose my kid. Well, maybe if you go to Springer and no. you explain. No. God. I have to think about this. Okay, talk to me, people. How are we doing out there? 3714 here. Still quiet at the Brookhurst store. Buddy, this is 725. Ditto the store on Ashworth. Maybe he just beams in or something. Hey, I heard that, Shapiro. No more mystery theater jokes, okay? Uh, that's a Roger, Sarge. 
This is 725. We're going to take another drive around the building while security rocks up. Okay, Stan. Take your positions as soon as they give the okay. 725, copy. <sighs> Dan, we're supposed to be at the department store. What are we doing here? Just yeah. a few more minutes. Silent alarm triggered. It's the Wood Street store again. All units, move in. Repeat, all units, move in. <laughs> this is unit 721 responding. We're at the entry point. Roof's covered. Apparently he sneaked by us. Okay, people, spread out. Hey, guys. Okay, listen. You take the eye on the left, we'll take the right. Another woman at your feet, huh, Kelly? Buddy, we got some movement. We're going for it. I think we got something. Watch your back. This guy may be armed. Freeze! Right there, right there. Hold on! You know, it's amazing. These guys, they make my yearly salary in about 10 seconds. Yeah, they probably have a higher IQ, too. That's very funny. Hmm. So what's up? I don't know. Why don't you tell me what's up? I don't know, but you said you wanted to talk to me about something. For once, can we just cut to the chase? Where is he? Where's who? You know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Briar. That's right, he split town. He flew the coop. Now I'm looking for him, and I can't find him. I got half the force out there looking for him. Springer, I... Wait a I... minute. If you would have told me when you should have, none of this would have happened. And I give you my word, as a male chauvinist pig, if I don't find him, I'm going to take your badge. Then, just as I asked her to confess her sins... Not according to the ballistic report. Yeah, we have room down here. Now you're gonna have to check with Bob's side. There was this bird... No, just put it right there. Tell him I'll be with him in a minute, all right? Talk about dysfunctional families. Whoa! Tell us about it. We searched their house, we found the jewelry from the four jobs stashed away at the back. Not to mention the guy was a security guard at one of the department stores until he was fired. That doesn't matter. What are you talking about? I mean, the kid said it was his idea, and the parents confirmed it, so... Yeah, but obviously, he's covering for him. Well, I know that, and you know that, but look, it's the kid's first offense. I mean, you know, they're gonna slap his wrist and send him back to his parents. No. Hey, hey Kelly, wait a minute. What, what are you doing? some gum, kid, huh? Go ahead. Hey, what's the point of this? Miss Stevens, you agreed to cooperate. Sooner we finish here, the sooner you and your family can go home, okay? 
Yeah, okay. but okay. Cody. Cody, I've been there. Yeah, you know, when I was your age, my dad, he uh, had this real temper, you see. And if I didn't do what he told me to do, when he told me to do it, he'd take out this hairbrush, you know? What are you trying to say? That I hit my son? I'd never do that. All right. But there are other kinds of hurt than being hit. Isn't that right, Cody? Ah, uh -huh. what is this? You love your family, right? Yeah. You don't want to disappoint your parents, right? I was like that, too. I was exactly like that. And my dad made me do things that I didn't want to do, Cody. Things, things that I, I, I can't forget, you know, things that hurt me, hurt me to this day, Cody. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, that's it. We're out of here. Come on, it let's go. was let's wrong, go. Cody. It was wrong. Cody. And you know that. Kurt, you no matter what they tell you, it was me. wrong. What do you want me to do now, Claire? Did you rob those stores for your parents, huh? Is that why you did it, for your parents? I don't want to make them stop fighting. <laughs> Cody, shut up! You shut up, Claire! You shut up! I'm sorry, Cody. I'm sorry. see my son one last time. Well, look who's back in town. You're a hard man, fine. I, uh... I had to think. Yeah, think is good. Look, Springer. Well, it's all right. So how are we going to do this? Well, I'm, I'm going to have to ask you some questions. Yeah. OK. So I was, I was wondering, what's your kid's name? Pardon me? The kid. Well, he tells me you got a kid, isn't that right? What's his name? Kevin. Kevin, no kid. I got a nephew named Kevin. Does he shoot hoops as good as his old man or what? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's better. You like a guy. Sounds like a great kid. Yeah. So that's it? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's all you have to ask me? <laughs> Unless there's something else you want to tell me yet? Uh, no. Okay. You know, we wrapped up the Nichols case. Seems like it was a... Uh, a loan shark who did him in. Well, in here, gave me the hot tip. Well, she's a real pain in the ass, but I'll tell you, she's a great cop. Yeah, she is. She's all right. Yes, she is. I'll see you on the course this afternoon. Yeah. Well. Yeah. See you on campus. Can I help you? I'm telling you, man, you just can't keep good men down. <laughs> Look, calm down, Springer. That's one win in the last 50 games, all right? Oh, sour grapes. Uh... So, Danny, what's that mean? You washed my car and my dog this weekend. Wait, was your wife you washed this weekend, big guy? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, <Hey>, my ex. <laughs> <laughs>
What did you tell Springer? What the hell are you doing here? No. What did you tell Springer? I didn't tell him anything. No, but you were about to, right? Now, wait a minute. You come in here, you, you break into my house, and you're asking me questions? I've got 15 years on this force, lady. 15 years! You come from a cop family. You should know better than to stick your nose into things you're not involved with. I saw you with a homicide victim. That makes me involved. You know, sometimes things just aren't what they look like. And you're hiding something. Yeah. I think you killed that guy, or you know who did. No, you don't know anything. What's there to know? You're gay, aren't you? And Nichols was your lover, and that's what this is about. I don't have to listen to this. So I think you do. No, I think I don't. You keep your mouth shut. Do you understand? You breathe one word to Springer, and I will burn you down. Flasher. You have to admit, there's something kind of Shakespearean about it. Don't start with the flasher. You know what that does to me. Besides, she's a nut in a raincoat. Yeah, but why does she do it to them? What do these guys she's flashing have in common? Who knows? They all wear brass buttons. Wait a minute, and then that's it. What? A sailor, a baseball coach, a fireman. They were all wearing uniforms at the time. Hey. So, Waylon, what happened to you last night? I thought you were going to take me to play pool or something. Waylon, you listening? Huh? Well, if it isn't two-thirds of the month's point. Serpico, what's up? What we a game of hoops tonight. Give you detectives a chance to win back some of that honor you lost. Yeah, why not? You know, it's getting pretty tiring letting you guys win all the time. Yeah, right. You mind if I have a word with your partner for a second? In yeah. private? No problem. Thanks. All right. I'll check you later. Right. Serpico. First time I ever met you. I was crazy about you. Ever tell you that? It never work out, Springer. I mean, we'd sleep together, then you wouldn't call me, I wouldn't call you. House every day. Yeah, only because we're concerned for her safety, sir. Now she insists that neither she nor her son have ever been abused by her husband. Well, look, with all due respect, Lieutenant, that is a complete lie. Look, Kelly, you know as well as I do that in order to press charges, you need more evidence. That's why I'm ordering her husband released. But, sir, look. Both you and your partner here need to consider yourselves very lucky. If this woman had pressed harassment charges, you'd both be talking to IA right now. Dismissed. Can you believe that? Can't believe it. Let it go, Dan. No, I'm not gonna do that. Why not? Because I'm not going to sit around while some scumbag uses his wife and kids as a punching bag. That's why. You heard what Gonzalez said. We get in serious trouble Look, here. Nobody's asking you to get involved, Jaworski. Back off! Dan, did your father abuse you? Oh. Is that why you're doing this? Yeah, yeah, you know what? He abused me. He, he smacked me around. How do you like that? Well, don't look at me like that, please. Not that big of a deal. I remember I had this, uh, I had this baseball card of Roberto Clemente. And I used to keep it in a special box all by itself, you know. And, and one day he, he comes home. I'll never forget this. And, and he goes right for the closet, you know, and he, he takes the card and he, and he, he rips it up you know, into a million pieces right there in front of me. I never knew why. How come you never told me? It's not something you talk about with people, Jesse. It's a private thing. I'm not people. I'm your partner.
Look, we've checked the streets, we've checked the case files. It's like this loan shark never existed. You think I made it up? I didn't say that. You think I killed Nichols and created an alibi to cover myself? Look, all I know is that it's been 24 hours. I will not go to Springer. Fire, he knows. What? What are you talking about? Did you tell him? I think you killed that guy, or you know who did. No, you don't know anything. What's there to know? You're gay, aren't you? And Nichols was your lover, and that's what this is about. I don't have to listen to this. So I think you do. No, I think I don't. You keep your mouth shut. Do you understand? You breathe one word to Springer, and I will burn you down. Flasher. You have to admit, there's something kind of Shakespearean about it. Don't start with the flasher. You know what that does to me. Besides, she's a nut in a raincoat. Yeah, but why does she do it to them? What do these guys she's flashing have in common? Who knows? They all wear brass buttons. Wait a minute, and then that's it. What? A sailor, a baseball coach, a fireman. They were all wearing uniforms at the time. Hey. So, Waylon, what happened to you last night? I thought you were going to take me to play pool or something. Waylon, you listening? Huh? Well, if it isn't two-thirds of the month's point. Serpico, what's up? We had a game of hoops tonight. Give you detectives a chance to win back some of that honor you lost. Yeah, why not? You know, it's getting pretty tiring letting you guys win all the time. Yeah, right. You mind if I have a word with your partner for a second? Yeah. In private? No problem. Thanks. All right. I'll check you later. Right. Serpico. First time I ever met you, I was crazy about you. Ever tell you that? It never work out, Springer. I mean, we'd sleep together, then you wouldn't call me, I wouldn't call you. And... Messy. So, what's this I hear about you poking your nose around in farms without authorization? Excuse me? The Nichols case in particular. You got something you want to talk to me about? Maybe I want to be a detective. Oh, okay. Now, so, now I say something funny back and we do this little dance. You know, it's getting old. We've done it before. What's going on? I can't talk about it. You want to try that again? I told you, I, I, I can't talk about it. You know, you're wrong. We probably sleep together, fall madly in love, and then run away and live happily ever after. It was just a little disagreement, that's all. I tried to explain that to the officer here, but he wouldn't listen. Excuse me, ma'am, but that's Dan. not... According to the police report, Mrs. Stevens, there's evidence that you and your son may have been abused. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Isn't that right, Cody? Look, ma'am, I'm sure we'll get this. You know, when I was your age, my dad, he uh, had this real temper, you see. And if I didn't do what he told me to do, when he told me to do it, he'd take out this hairbrush, you know? What are you trying to say, that I hit my son? I'd never do that. All right. But there are other kinds of hurt than being hit. Isn't that right, Cody? Ah, uh -huh. what is this? You love your family, right? Yeah. You don't want to disappoint your parents, right? I was like that, too. I was exactly like that. And my dad made me do things that I didn't want to do, Cody. Things, things that I, I, I can't forget, you know? Things that hurt me. Hurt me to this day, Cody. Do you know what I'm talking about? OK, that's it. We're out of here. Come on, Dad let's go. It was let's wrong, go. Cody. It was wrong. Cody! And you know that. You no matter what they tell you, it was me. wrong. What do you want me to do now, Claire? Did you rob those stores for your parents, huh? Is that why you did it? For your parents? I don't want to make them stop fighting. Damn it! Oh, Cody, shut up! You shut up, Claire! You shut up! I'm sorry, Cody. I'm sorry. Good enough. Steven, you're doing this. 
I had to see my son. No matter what happens to me, I had to see my son one last time. Well, look who's back in town. You're her man, fine. I, uh... I had to think. Yeah, think is good. Look, Springer. Well, it's all right. So how are we gonna do this? Well, I'm I'm gonna have to ask you some questions. Yeah. Okay. So I was I was wondering, what's your kid's name? Pardon me. Your kid. Well, he tells me you got a kid, isn't that right? What's his name? Kevin. Kevin, no kid. I got a nephew named Kevin. Does he shoot hoops as good as his old man or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's better. Thank you. I will never forget the first time I did it. I was on a blind date. No way. Uh-huh. You have got to be kidding. Talk about fantasies, huh? Mm. It was incredible. I mean, a double bank shot is amazing enough, but a triple? I was ready to go pro right then and there. Well, you're not gonna make this shot. Oh. Take my hands down. I want another one. I want another one. You'll have to wait. We got shift in 10 minutes. Isn't that Detective Byer over there? The Detective Brian? Over there? Okay. The, I've got the worst crush on him, Detective Brian? I never said I had a crush on him. I just said he was cute. <laughs> so those little distinctions, you know? So, uh, go to it, Mom. Here you go. We'll be in the car. Oh. No blood, no foul, okay? You guys want to tell us what's going on? You first. Well, officer, you noticed the stop sign? Well, the admiral didn't. Like I told this fat pig, if the broad hadn't flashed me, I don't know, I would have just gone. I beg your pardon? Right there on the corner. She opens up her yellow ring. He's always drunk. Look at her. Come on, Sam. Okay, okay, that's enough. Tell me more about this flasher. She was on the corner, blonde, but uh, not natural. Catch my drift. 42 double D, maybe bigger. With this Tweenberg tattoo on her left? No. Maybe it was her right. Sir, follow me, please. Right, let's go, let's, let's go, go talk about Tweenberg. All units, we have a gunshot victim down at Elm and Main. 408, returning to station. 40, 408, returning to station. Stay behind the yellow line. Nice threads, Springer. Funeral? No, I had a hot date, actually. I'm sure she'll understand. What's going on? Uh, we just got here ourselves, but it seems that... You breathe one word to Springer, and I will burn you down. Flasher. You have to admit, there's something kind of Shakespearean about it. Don't start with the flasher. You know what that does to me. Besides, she's a nut in a raincoat. Yeah, but why does she do it to them? What do these guys she's flashing have in common? Who knows? They all wear brass buttons. Wait a minute, then that's it. What? A sailor, a baseball coach, a fireman. They were all wearing uniforms at the time. Hey, 
So, Waylon, what happened to you last night? I thought you were going to take me to play pool or something. Waylon, you listening? Well, if it isn't two-thirds of the month, squad. Serpico, what's up? We had a game of hoops tonight. Give you detectives a chance to win back some of that honor you lost. Yeah, why not? You know, it's getting pretty tiring letting you guys win all the time. Yeah, right. You mind if I have a word with your partner for a second? Yeah. In private? No problem. Thanks. All right. I'll check you later. Right. Serpico. The first time I ever met you, I was crazy about you. Ever tell you that? You'd never work out, Springer. I mean, we'd sleep together, then you wouldn't call me, I wouldn't call you. And... Yes. So... What's this I hear about you poking your nose around in farms without authorization? Excuse me? The Nichols case in particular. You got something you want to talk to me about? Maybe I want to be a detective. Oh, okay. Now so, now I say something funny back and we do this little dance. You know, it's getting old. We've done it before. What's going on? I can't talk about it. You want to try that again? I told you. I, I, I can't talk about it. Be with you in a minute, ma'am. You know, you're wrong. We probably sleep together, fall madly in love, and then run away and live happily ever after. It was just a little disagreement, that's all. I tried to explain that to the officer here, but he wouldn't listen. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, but that's Dad. not... According to the police report, Mrs. Stevens, there's evidence that you and your son may have been abused. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Isn't that right, Cody? Look, ma'am, I'm sure we'll get this all straightened out. I want my husband released immediately. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Well, my son saw the whole thing. This is a clear case of police harassment. Now, I want my husband released now, or I'm going to the press. Is that clear? There was this bird. No, just put it right there. Tell him I'll be with him in a minute, all right? Talk about dysfunctional families. Whoa. Tell us about it. We searched their house. We found the jewelry from the four jobs stashed away at the back. Not to mention the guy was a security guard at one of the department stores until he was fired. That doesn't matter. What are you talking about? I mean, the kid said it was his idea, and the parents confirmed it, so... Yeah, but obviously, he's covering for him. Well, I know that, and you know that, but look, it's the kid's first offense. I mean, you know, they're gonna slap his wrist and send him back to his parents. No. no. Hey, Kelly, wait a minute. What, what are you doing? some gum, kid, huh? Go ahead. Hey, what's the point of this? Miss Stevens, you agreed to cooperate. Sooner we finish here, the sooner you and your family can go home, okay? Yeah, okay. but... Okay. Claire. Cody, I've been there. Yeah, you know, when I was your age, my dad, he, uh, had this real temper, you see. And if I didn't do what he told me to do, when he told me to do it, he'd take out this hairbrush, you know? What are you trying to say, that I hit my son? I'd never do that. All right. But there are other kinds of hurt than being hit, isn't that right, Cody? Ah, uh -huh. what is this? You love your family, right? Yeah. You don't want to disappoint your parents, right? I was like that, too. I was exactly like that. And my dad made me do things that I didn't want to do, Cody. Things things that I, I, I can't forget, you know? Things that hurt me. Hurt me to this day, Cody. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, that's it. We're out of here. Come on, Dad, let's go. It was let's wrong, go. Cody. It was wrong. Cody! And you know that. Kurt, you no matter what they tell you, it was wrong. What do you want me to do now, Claire? Did you rob those stores for your parents, huh? Is that why you did it? For your parents? I don't want to make them stop fighting. Damn it! Oh, Cody, shut up! You shut up, Claire! You shut up! I'm sorry, Cody. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. First door. Buddy, this is 725. Ditto the store on Ashworth. Maybe he just beams in or something. Hey, I heard that, Shapiro. No more mystery theater jokes, okay? Uh, that's a Roger, Sarge. This is 725. We're gonna take another drive around the building while security rocks up. Okay, Stan. Take your positions as soon as they give the okay. 725, copy. <sighs> Dan, we're supposed to be at the department store. What are we doing here? Just yeah. a few more minutes. Silent alarm triggered. It's the Wood Street store again. All units, move in. Repeat, all units, move in. This is unit 721 responding. We're at the entry point. Roof's covered. Apparently he sneaked by us. Okay, people, spread out. Hey, guys. Okay, listen. You take the aisle on the left, we'll take the right. Another woman at your feet, huh, Kelly? Buddy, we got some movement. We're going for it. I think we got something. Watch your backs. This guy may be armed. Freeze! Right there, right there. Hold on! You know, it's amazing. These guys, they make my yearly salary in about 10 seconds. Yeah, they probably have a higher IQ, too. That's very funny. Hmm. So what's up? I don't know. Why don't you tell me what's up? I don't know what you said you wanted to talk to me about. Here you go. We'll be in the car. Oh. What's going on? You first. Yeah. Well, officer, you noticed the stop sign? Well, the Admiral didn't. Like I told this fat pig, if the broad hadn't flashed me, I don't know, I would have just gone. I beg your pardon. Right there on the corner. She opens up her yellow ring. He's always drunk. Look at her. Come on, Sam. Okay, okay. That's enough. All right. Tell me more about this flasher. She was on the corner, blonde, but uh, not natural. To catch my drift. 42 double D. Maybe bigger. With this tweed bird tattoo on her left? No. Maybe it was her right. Sir, follow me, please. Let's go, let's let's go, go. talk about tweed bird. All units, we have a gunshot victim down at Elm and Maine. Forty oh eight return to the station. Forty oh eight return to the station. 
Nice threat, bring her funeral. No, I had a hot date actually, I'm sure she'll understand. What's going on? Uh, we just got here ourselves, but it seems a jogger found the body and called it in. White male, early 30s, caught one with his head, up close to personal life. Let me guess, you scrawled the killer's name in blood in the silent, but all the rain washed their way, man. I guess that's why you get the big bucks, huh, Springer? You got it. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Dead as Dillinger. What's the matter with you, Will? Nothing. Is this your first cliff or what? No. I think you better tap up on the old vitamins. You look a little pale. Stevens women should have pressed charges. And, uh, oh, yeah, listen. As we ran an FI on her and the kid, Dan. Sure no previous record of either of them okay, in the crime. Yeah. Nice threat, Springer. Funeral? No, I had a hot date, actually. I'm sure she'll understand. What's going on? Uh, we just got here ourselves, but it seems a jogger found the body and called it in. White male, early 30s. Caught one with his head. I'll put some personal life. Well, let me guess. You scrawled the killer's name in blood in the silent, but all the rain washed their way, man. I guess that's why you get the big bucks, huh, Springer? You got it. Engine, one We're going to take the over. Yeah, he's dead, all right. Dead as Dillinger. What's the matter with you, Will? Nothing. Is this like your first cliff or what? No. I think you better tap up on the old vitamins. You look a little pale. Stevens women should have pressed charges. And, uh, oh, yeah, listen. As we ran an FI on her and the kid, Dan. Sure no previous record of either of them okay, being a crime victim. Right here it says, uh, we got another robbery at a department store on, uh, Saw. Look on that kid's face. Bet your bottom dollar the guy's beating Anyone walking through walls or vanishing into thin air, I'd appreciate knowing about it, okay? All right. Saddle up and get out of here. <laughs> So she invites me in and she puts on some music. That's good. Only oh, it's very memorable. That's bad. So I tell her I've got a headache. That's good. <laughs> but my car won't start. That's bad. So what? Should I see her again or what? What do you think? Look at you. I gotta do something, okay? What, what do you mean? Uh, it'll just take a second. I'll meet you out there, okay? <laughs> yeah, thanks for the advice, Whaler. Right, right. Okay, okay, Margaret. So I'm a couple months late in child support, but I. No, I don't care what your lawyer says, because this isn't a settlement, it's extortion, and I... Can I help you? No, I... Well, um... I'm... I'm Molly Whalen, I'm, I'm one of the probationary officers. Yeah, I know who you are. Jake Pryor. Listen, I'm... I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I am too. Eight years of marriage down the drain, shuffling our kid back and forth between here and Cleveland. No, I meant about your friend. Pardon? The guy you were with at the pool hall yesterday? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. The, the homicide victim. I happened to be at the pool hall and I saw you. Honest mistake. Excuse me? I wasn't at any pool hall yesterday, Whalen. But I saw you there. Oh, it must have been somebody else. No, 